Okay, so this video is me opening up some things I got from Glass Wing Organics. Okay, got my box cutter, and here we go. Um, I really love their stuff. I should have done this when I bought like three hundred dollars worth of stuff a few months ago, but yeah, doing it now with this one, so yeah, it's fine. But I really love their stuff, so. Here we go, let's get into it and let me tell you what all I got. It is hot, obviously, so some stuff um, will be like a little shifted as I can see this is from like the heat, from it melting. You can whip it back up if you want to, you don't have to, but you can if that like is bothersome to you. This is the organic olive butter. Wait, organic olive butter, yeah. I really like this. I've had this before. Um, but you see, it smells a lot like shea butter. Um, that's pure organic shea butter and organic olive oil. I know it's like, that That can be very frustrating. I see people in reviews, they'll say things about it, but if you whip it back up, it'll be the same. Um, so, like I said, that's up to you to do that if that does happen. But I got that. And I got this. Like I said, I've tried that before. It's really good. This is the sea moss soap. This is mine. This is like my favorite soap. It's so good and moisturizing and it's just it's just really good for your face too. Um, I usually won't use it on my face, but sometimes I do. It's really good though. So there's that. Then I got this is the oatmeal soap. This is what I use on my daughter. It's um I'm trying to, I can't remember what it's called on the website. It's not just oatmeal soap, but it's like, um, it might be. It's something along the lines of that, but it's really good for, you can use it for babies and sensitive skin. But this is oatmeal soap. Um, and this is what I use on my daughter. It's skin soft and it doesn't like irritate her or anything like that. That one looks like this. It smells very light. You don't really smell much from it. And then this is the African black soap. This I will use on my face. Um, I'll use a little bit on my body too, but mainly I use it for my face, which I've been needing. I've been out of it, and y'all, I'm breaking out on my forehead. But I'm gonna be all right here soon because I get this back. Mm -hmm. I was using this. Um, I think Kirk's is what it was, yeah. Um, I had never used them before. Um, and I was using the soap for sensitive skin, and I shouldn't be using it on my face. It is just not doing it. And then I got this for my daughter. She hasn't tried this one. This is a, the, um, we'll always get them from the kids line. Most of them still use it anyway, but, um, this is the, look at that, it has amethyst crystals in it lovely it's the amethyst infused head to toe body oil and you see this is um geared towards children and there this is really good a lot of adults use this too because i was looking on the reviews and they loved it so yeah i usually get the just lotion like this and the berries and cream scent but i wanted to try the oil for her this time and yeah this looks amazing but look at the crystals at the bottom like so pretty so yeah, this is for her. And then I got a sage stick. This is my first time actually getting a um, sage stick too, which is crazy. You would think I've already had one, but I haven't. Smell it strongly. But there's that. It's coming in loose. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. Let me just on that. 
And lastly, I got some bath bombs. I've been um, doing more like therapeutic stuff like baths. Usually I just take showers, but I swear I feel like my energy's been a lot different since also taking baths here and there too. And when I do, I also do a um, uh, uh, guided meditation. I've been doing them for like my cycle and um, solar plexus chakra while I'm in the bathtub. And I don't know, it's just been amazing, y'all. But this is the box. Rose, Roses and Herbs Natural Bath Bombs. But I feel like it's really shook my energy a lot, so... It's like I want to get some bath bombs for when I'm doing that. This is what it looks like. Has that more uh old <laughs> rose smell? She has a rose um is that essence of an empress? I think so. Yeah. She has that, and it's the smell of roses, but it does not give that old smell. It is literally essence of an empress. I would try that. It smells so good. I think it's the, um, it's royal empress or something like that. I think it is essence of an empress, and but it's the royal something. I don't know, but it's, it smells so good. But this is more like a old timey type of a rose smell. Um, but shoot, I just know it's going to be good anyway because I smell so I don't care. But yeah, this smells more like what I was worried when I got that lotion it would smell like. But this is like that. But I still see it as being good. I don't worry about that anymore. It's more of how it makes you feel. Which is important. So yeah. So this was a little short. I don't even know if you call it a haul, but whatever. Just a little short showing of what I got from her shop. It's Glasswing um, Organics. And she has her website too, but I usually shop through Etsy. Um, for everybody, it's just easier. I've just always been on there and I just do it. Um, but she does have a website too. And sometimes I think she usually has sales on the website. So you can find good deals like that too, actually. So, but whatever. But yeah, those are the bombs. Like I said, the amethyst infused head to toe oil, the organic olive butter, which you can't see that, anyways. But yeah, sea moss soap, African black soap, and the oatmeal soap, and the sage stick. So yeah, excuse me, <laughs> I just ate, so I'm like, Ugh. but yeah, I hope y'all like this. This stuff is really good for your skin, though. Um. I feel like it's changed the way, I don't know, just the way I feel about my body, to be honest. Um, and when I don't use it, my body notices. And yeah, it's like I really try to keep up with it. But yeah, so y'all have a good day. You should definitely try it out.